A natural uh, question to ask is whether the solution of the finite element method is um, uh, close to the actual solution or not. Um, this is a difficult task, but we are going to uh, say some words about it. If we have uh, a triangulation like this, uh, TH called uh, K1, K2 up to Km, where these are the interior of the triangles and the union of them are equal to omega. Uh, then we knew that the, this H was given by the maximum length, uh, side length uh, in this uh, triangulation. And if we now let um, beta H denote the smallest angle, the smallest angle uh, of these triangles, and assume that uh, this angle is larger than some value k, which is larger than zero. So this um, um, then then we can imagine a sequence of such triangles uh, in a way that they are getting smaller and smaller that means that the, this uh, age is approaching zero but in a way that this uh, beta age is not approaching zero but is always larger than this constant k if we imagine this uh, then it's possible to show that the solution, the finite element solution, uh, converges to the actual solution in W012 for the Dirichlet problem. And more precisely, it means that the norm of the difference between the finite element solution and the actual, actual solution goes to zero when H goes to zero but this is only when we uh, when we have some um, some lower bone on the angle so this angle cannot be uh, arbitrarily close to zero this is what we know how close um, it is for a given triangulation is more delicate problem to attack <laughs>